Hey guys, this is Trouble Lobster. Today we have a review of the Mega Bloks Halo Red vs. Blue High Ground, a Target exclusive. I went um <clears throat> I went to Target and Toys R Us today and I found some great stuff. This was one of them. I was specifically looking for the locust attack, but I saw this one too, so I thought I'd grab this one instead. So, as you can see, it is a Target exclusive. Only at Target, just like the uh Toys R Us exclusive ones. The manual is the same, I'm not going to go into much depth with it, it's only like 30 something steps. But, to the box, I actually got the very, very last one of these at Target. So, of course I get the one that's a little bent on the side and stuff. But it's the Versus Assault on High Ground, you got the cool graphical pictures and stuff on there. The cool new uh, top, it's red and uh, blue. Then you got the only a Target emblem. And you got the blue guy over here, and the red guy over here. And on the back, it shows all the other cool new sets coming out. All the battle packs and stuff, which are very nice. There's the locust attack. And cool diorama and stuff on the back. Then right here it says, the, uh, versus assault on high ground. Choose your side as two teams clash for total control of high, of high ground base. Red team occupies key positions on high ground with its spartan laser and mesh canopy camouflage. Blue team strike force rushed to the front gate armed with advanced covenant weapons and assisted with the new covenant ghost. So, this is very nice. One of my favorite sets actually. I remember this map from Halo 3. It was one of my favorites. And not to mention the fact that it's just overall a very awesome set. So, you get five minifigures. Uh, yeah, five. And you get a red CQB Spartan with a battle rifle. Same as the other CQBs, very nice. Then you get a regular red Spartan 2, armed with a Spartan laser. Very nice detailing on the Spartan laser. That guy's nice. Then you get a really, really cool blue uh, recon Spartan with a mauler. His armor is very nice. His helmet looks a little goofy, the visor's a little tiny. But other than that, it's nice. He's got some, he has a nice torso, some good shoulders. Very nice figure. Then you get a regular blue Spartan 2 with a cool new needler, very nice. But perhaps my favorite minifigure out of all of them is the Active Camo EVA Spartan. He looks very nice, all Active Camo-like. Very cool, I like him a lot, he's my favorite. And he comes with a uh, black magnum, so he's very nice. Then you get two Halo 3 trip mines, very nice looking, so you get two of these. They're very nice. Then you get a weapons crate, much like in the Falcon and stuff. Nothing in it at the moment, but you do get the weapons crate. Then as for vehicles, you get this really cool ghost. One of my favorites. Looks very nice with stickers, very easy to build. Clear piece right here to make it look like it's hovering. This is where all the stickers in the set are, it's just on the ghost. But they're not that hard. I'm actually quite proud of myself, I did a good job on these ones. But, that is the ghost. Very, very nice. New design. But I'm sure what everybody wants to see is high ground. Now, you can make it like this, but it's supposed to be able to go over like this. Because if you don't do that, then what it'll look like is that, and that doesn't look right. So, it shouldn't be like that. So once again, very nice. You got the beach terrain here with the rocks and everything. Then right here is the main bridge, and just like in Halo 3, there is a machine gun turret on here. Very nice, you can put anyone up there. Then you have the bridge, and it's very nice detailing with the railing and everything. Very nice. Maybe it would have been better if they added that little side entrance over here, but I guess that might have been too much to go into. Then of course you got the railing over here, you got the nice staircase, and then you got this part that is probably everyone's favorite part of the map. And you have the cool mesh camouflage thing, which is very, very nice. It's really cool. But right here is where the flag is, because this is like a capture the flag type thing. And there are two fusion coils. There's a staircase right here, which I will show you. Staircase right there. Leads right in from the bridge, which is very nice. And you can have a guy with a Spartan laser or a sniper rifle up there. So very nice. As for the back, there's nothing much really in it at all. It's mostly the front you want to be looking at. 
this is basically supports and stuff. But you do have a nice little hiding spot in there. And then here you have a nice little walkway. And there's a back staircase and of course the main entrance to the base. And you've got kind of nice back views of the base, which is very nice. But I'm going to go into a little bit of detail on the front here. So you do have some cool plants and everything. Get three of those. You get a couple of traffic cones and rocks as well. So there's some right there, there's some right there, and there's some, the last one's right there. Now as for difficulty, this is not a difficult set to build, there's just some tedious parts. But it, it was overall a pretty fun little set to build, very nice. If you ever are debating whether to buy this or Locust Attack, I've never had the Locust Attack so I can't say, but all I'm going to say is this set is pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, it has so much detail, so many cool figures. I mean, you get a ghost, you get a weapons crate, you get two of these cool Halo 3 trip mines, and not to mention the abundance of these cool minifigures you get. Not to mention the, uh, my favorite one of all, the Active Camo EVA. Very nice. My favorite one. But it is a great buy. I got it on sale for uh, $50, so $5 off. But it's still, you know, it's only $5, but whatever. It's still good. So if you ever see this, you should pick it up. These are very cool new red versus blue sets, only at Target. So they're very, very nice. If you ever see this, pick it up. I give it 10 out of 10 stars. It's very nice, worth the money. There's a lot of playability with this, and it's good for stop motions and everything. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And I have more of these coming soon, and I'll see you guys next time.